All right, so this week what we're going to be working on is actually getting another 240 volt plug installed. And <clears throat> so what I've been doing right now for my air compressor, along with, let me get out of the way, it's a little dark down here in the basement, but for my air compressor and my welding, I've been using this 240 volt plug that my dryer uses currently. So because of that, I have limited access and it's pretty difficult to run my plasma cutter and the air compressor at the same time just because I don't have enough outlets so I can't really do it. So the plan this week is that you can kind of see here I've got a white, black, and green three wire, uh, I believe it's eight gauge, it might be ten, and I've kind of got it hung up in the ceiling already and got it strung along here going to what will be considered kind of like my back porch patio area that's enclosed from the outside and that's right where my air compressor is hooked up currently so the plan is I just kind of pre-ran this to make sure I have enough length on each side to do what I need to do once I get it cut down to the right length I have some of this rubber coated metal conduit flexible conduit that will cover this so that I can then feed this through here I will mount it to the inside wall of my enclosed porch so that way I have a 240 volt plug that's easy to access so I can weld outside and stuff like that without having to deal with a bunch of 240 volt extension cords so the reason I'm doing this is because um, I was gonna initially run something to the to my garage so I could do this but I have to dig a trench and do all this other stuff which just makes it a giant pain and because of that, this is kind of the easiest way to make sure I have a 240 volt plug that can run an air compressor and that 240 volt plug that can also run my plasma cutter at the same time. So that's kind of the game plan for this week. So before I actually get inside the box and start wiring this up, um, I talked to quite a few people to try to figure out what the best way to do this would be. And it's a little tough to see, but these are square D circuits. So I got a 240 volt. Right now, all they had in stock was a 50 amp breaker. I do have a 30 amp on the way, which is going to be more suitable for what I'm actually going to be using for the rating output wise. But uh, just got to say, you know, I'm not an electrical professional. If you're trying to install a 240 volt outlet at your house or in your garage, consult local codes, consult local ordinances, stuff like that. But for me, since this is only going to be used for welding that's why I'm using the three or the black white and green for this outlet and using just a standard three prong versus the newer four prongs that go in most facilities with that being said I have been advised to put a white or a red piece of tape on the white line just to know that that's the hot just in case but this is going to be primarily for my air compressor or my welder which are both just the old three prong 240 volt receptacles. If you don't feel comfortable with electricity, I would not recommend this as something you do by yourself. And whenever you're working in a box, I always recommend having someone there with you just in case something does happen so that they can get help and things like that. But just know I'm not a professional. I'm doing this just for myself. And this is something that once I move out of this house, I'm going to disconnect as well because I know it's probably not up to what is actually required. But for what I need to do so I can continue to work on stuff outside, this is what I need, and it's the easiest way for me to do that. So just keep that in mind. All right, so it's a bit of a tight squeeze in here, but we're going to go ahead and take my plug here, attach it to the wall, and then I'm going to take my wire here and wire the plug in keep it attached to the wall again this has not been plugged into the box yet I'm uh, giving it a dry run so we hopefully don't get the wet ones and hopefully this will work out so let's do it
All right, so we got the plug finished up here. We've got the protective conduit here. So what we're gonna do now is I've got some uh, ring connections that will hold this against the wall nice and tight or secure nice and tight here to the wall. And this will just make sure everything stays good and tight. And then we will go to the box, wire it up, check for continuity, and then we should be good to go. All right, so uh, looking at some of the other videos, noticed that they were pretty dark, so hopefully this light will help out a little bit, but I'll try to correct the first couple and when I put the video together, but we just finished the plug, and now we actually turn off the power, connect the 240 receptacle, and put it in here. So unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna record as I take the panel off, but basically what's gonna happen is I will flip the main breaker here, which will kill power to everything. The one thing to be careful of, though, is that the power still coming in from outside is going to be live at the top of the box. This switch just kills it going to here. And what I'm going to do is I have a volt amp meter with, a, with two prongs on it so that I can actually test to verify that when I flip the switch, there is no power to where I'm going to be hooking up that new 240 volt breaker. So I'll be taking apart, looks like 19 and 21 here, popping those out as it is a two prong 240 volt, installing that. I will then be taking this here and we will connect the black and white to the breaker and then the ground will go to a, I'm not sure what you call them exactly, but there is a strip, a grounding strip on each side where all the grounds for each of these connect. So we'll do that there. And then at the top here, probably a little hard to see because like I said you know the lights not very good in my basement we got a couple crimps but I got a new one of those for this so we will crimp it at the top cut and strip the wires appropriately turn power off remove these insert it before I turn power on go back to the outlet and check for continuity flip the switch then we will test the breaker to verify that we are getting the 240 that we're requesting so let's see how this goes all right, so sorry about it being a little bit dark, but we've got everything plugged back in. We're now just gonna double check that we have continuity. So what continuity does is it lets me know if I have a complete circuit, it will give me a, a beep. So we're gonna go both prongs and we've got continuity. So we're good to go there. All right, so we just switched everything back on. So moment of truth, let's see what kind of power we got here. And there you go, 243 volts for my 240 volt outlet. So everything looks good to go. Let's just plug a welding power source in to make sure it's gonna turn on and work. And I think we'll call this one good. All right, here we go. Let's see if it works. So 240 volt plugged in. Let me flip the switch. Fan turns on, everything powers on. No magic smoke's coming out of the box, so I think it's gonna be working good. So let's see how we can get both of these 240 volts so I can now use my air compressor and my plasma cutter in some upcoming videos. So like always, if you have uh, any comments or things to suggest, please let me know and like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.